Hello teachers, welcome again. Thank you very much for attending. As we all know, learning to speak English as a second language, it is challenging for non-native speakers, especially when the lessons involve grammar. Some teachers might feel curious or confused or even unconvinced about grammar teaching, but that's exactly the reason we're here today. So please get ready because our amazing academic team has prepared something interesting and valuable for you to use in the classroom. Today, we will share with you some tips on how to teach grammar. Grammar teaching has always been one of the most controversial and least understood aspects of language teaching. Few teachers remain indifferent to grammar and many teachers become obsessed by it, right? The fact is that grammar is an important aspect of the language where learners have teachers' opinions obviously vary. Whatever your stand is, you cannot escape from learning grammar. It is vital in every sentence you read or write, or speak or hear. Grammar is simply the world of the rules that people follow when they use a language. We need the rules in the same way as we need the rules in a game. Do you remember the way that you learned English? How was it? If you learned English the same way as I did here in Mexico and oh my God, back in the previous century, well, then you might remember that it was mostly through repetitions and memorizing parts of the speech as well as using these famous grammatical formulas. Do you remember them? Well, I can remember myself at the age of 12, 13, washing the dishes with this long list of verbs pasted in front of me and doing something like run, 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 drink, drink, drunk, and oh my god, it worked. I'm not saying it didn't work. Of course it worked because now I speak English. I know how to use the grammatical rules. I memorized the formulas and actually I'm an English teacher. It worked because we were a different generation and we learned in different ways. Now we are teaching students from a different era. We are students from the 21st century and they learn in different ways. Let me ask you another question. Do you use the same approach or methodology to teach grammar than the ones that you used to learn it? Hopefully not. Hopefully not teachers, because as I said before, we're teaching a different type of students. Our students, they learn totally different and actually they learn from different sources. So we have to select specific methodologies that cope with students from the 21st century. So the first recommendation we want to make today, it is to select the best methodology, the best one that fits your students' needs, profiles, and also preferences. And also very important, you have to select the one that you and your students will enjoy. The second recommendation we will make for you today it is to use inductive teaching. The inductive method of teaching grammar involves presenting several examples that illustrate a specific concept. So you have to provide your students with so many examples then it's going to be very easy for them to notice how the concept works through these examples. No explanation of the concept is given beforehand and the expectation is that students learn to recognize the grammar rules in a more natural and simpler way. Grammar teaching has always been one of the most controversial and least understood aspects of language teaching. Few teachers remain indifferent to grammar and many teachers become obsessed by it, right? The fact is that grammar is an important aspect of the language where learners have teachers' opinions obviously vary. Taking an interactive approach to teaching English grammar doesn't mean throwing away your syllabus or abstaining from classroom lecturing. Rather, interactive student-centered teaching means reframing the use of these teaching methods and integrating them as a part of a broader interactive and engaging lesson plan. The last recommendation for today it is the discovery technique. The discovery technique it is a method of teaching in which students are not directly presented with a target grammatical structure or rule. Instead, the students are given content in which a target structure it is used. The students then discover the grammatical rule or figure out the pattern for themselves. All education depends on good grammar, don't you think? If students cannot understand grammar, they won't read, write, or speak clearly in another area of education. They won't understand maths or science, history or geography. 
they won't be able to express themselves in a clear and correct way. So teachers try to use these recommendations and try to make your lessons enjoyable and memorable for students. I hope you have liked this. I enjoyed it a lot. Thank you very much and see you soon.